Hey everybody, wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on with the channel. If you'll recall from my last status update video, I had a lot of plans and a lot of things laid out as to where I wanted to take it and what I wanted to do. To put it mildly, I haven't been able to accomplish that and there have been lots of reasons why. I've had a little bit of a job shift at my day job, I've had some additional responsibilities at my night job, taken on some other clients at my side job, sounds like I've got too many jobs. But the main thing that's happened is we've wanted to push forward uh, developing our property that we've got about 70 miles north of here into kind of a retreat, a vacation spot, someplace that we could retire. That was the original plan. That's changed. We then shifted gears into moving our in-laws in with us and developing a home and a homestead that would provide for, for all the nuances. How can I say this politely? that uh, such a living arrangement re would require. That fell through, and it wasn't until recently that I kind of understood why. Uh, my father-in-law backed out of the deal, decided he didn't want to do it, and that caused a little bit of hard feelings at the time, but since then he's passed away, and in retrospect I have come to realize that uh, I think he was a little more aware that he was closer to the end than he let on, uh, and than any of us knew. So what we did is, uh, or what he did rather, is he stayed home. And that's really important. There's something about home, the place that you have made home. And I'm not talking about a house. I'm talking about home and the feeling of home that you can't get when you uh, pull up your roots and try and set them down in a new place. So I respect his decision. Uh, wish that I would have known a little bit more of what his thinking was at the time. And maybe he didn't even know. But that set us back uh, quite a bit, and again, in retrospect, I don't, I don't think that was a bad thing at all for him to do. In fact, uh, were I in his shoes, I would probably have chosen the same path that he did. Uh, he's passed away now. That happened last uh, December, December of 2014, uh, which obviously was a very trying time uh, for the whole family, my wife especially, and uh, you know, a good husband, which I try to be picks up the slack and, uh, and helps out however he can. And that's meant that a lot of my side endeavors have been pushed well, to the side um, because they, they've needed to be. So that's where we are. Now, my mother-in-law, she desperately wants to move in with us in this new home that's, again, 70 miles north of uh, where I'm recording this video today. So the plans are back on the table. What have we done? We have found a set of plans that works for what we need. That's a, uh, a family of seven, a traditional family of seven, husband, wife, a bunch of rugrats, plus a mother-in-law who wants to be far enough away from us that uh, we're not gonna bother her, she's not gonna bother us, but close enough that we can keep an eye on her and make sure that she's okay as she's getting a little bit older in age which is the appropriate thing, at least in my view, for, for family to do. Um, you know, they watched after us when we were growing. Um, it's our responsibility, I think, to take care of them as they're growing older. So that's what we're going to do for her. Uh, the plans didn't exactly fit what we wanted to do. Um, we changed significantly, and uh, I'll, I'll go into that into some other videos possibly. but. We found these plans and we adapted them. We hired an architect. Uh, we adapted them to accomplish the needs that we wanted, uh, things that we wanted to accomplish. Something that's low impact, that's not going to cost a lot of money to heat, to cool, to upkeep, uh, as off the grid as possible. And we went forward with that. We also found a well driller, a licensed well driller, to drill a well and had quite a bit of adventures with that. Uh, you know, drilling in two different locations. The first hole didn't uh, didn't yield anything usable. We got nothing but mud and silt out, and that just that's not good for a well. Even if you try and filter it, it's just going to plug up your filters. Uh, we have two pumps installed. One of them is a standard 220 uh, VAC uh, well pump. Um, we got it from a very reputable company, highly recommended individual installed it for us, and we had him put an old-fashioned uh, handle pump on the top of it. So regardless of if uh, we don't have power, regardless of if there's an EMP, regardless of there's uh, something that fails in that first pump, at least we'll be able to hand pump out water. Now that's 
not terribly difficult, but it's, it's a chore. Uh, all of that was very expensive and took quite a bit of time to accomplish. So, uh, of course, I was trying to babysit that project and took time away from the channel, so I apologize for that. Uh, we've also found a, a builder. We actually went through a process where we selected uh, three possible builders to, to build this custom home for us, and we went through a vetting process, a uh, process of elimination, to find out who uh, was going to be a good fit for us and who wasn't. Um, we've had three meetings with them so far, and if everything goes to plan, we should be breaking ground here before the 1st of May. So, I should have some video of that. In the meantime, uh, this video has now gotten an awful lot longer than I had anticipated, but that's where I am, that's what I'm doing, that's why it's taken so long to get these videos out. Um, we've also uh, done some, some other projects that if you go out to uh, the website, both uh, joelevi.com and thelevihouse.com, if you go out there, you can see some of the projects that we've worked on. Uh, started down the path of being a beekeeper. We'll have two hives that we're going to be introducing next year at our property uh, up north, where we had one kind of experimental hive last year uh, that we lost. Um, we'll go into details in that in articles over at the website, so stay tuned over there. Uh, the other thing that we've done is so far we've planted 60 Lombardy poplars, not the hybrid poplars, but the, uh, the very tall columnar poplars. We've got them planted and uh, hopefully they'll survive. We had uh, a late freeze with about four inches of snow that hit all of a sudden and then went away a couple days later and uh, they dried out a little bit more than I would have liked. But hopefully we'll still have a stand of trees and we're going to continue planting more as the, the season progresses. We also have some technology that we've put in there. Uh, we've got a, a storage shed that's got all of our tools and whatnot uh, at that, that location, uh, locked up under surveillance, so don't get any ideas. Uh, we do have a couple solar panels on the top of it, and we've got a, a very small solar system installed in the shed to charge batteries, run a light or two, uh, you know, just, and we've got a, a T-Mobile range extender, uh, or a signal booster, that helps us get some data coverage out there. We've got cellular coverage for voice, so it's not a problem, it's just data. We're a little bit far away, we're on the edge, so that helps us out a bit. Uh, so we've been doing a lot of things. I just haven't had the, uh, the time or the opportunity to update you. There you go. Uh, future videos aren't going to be as long as this one, obviously, but uh, I wanted to make sure that you knew what was going on, and it's been quite a bit. Uh, I think if you were in my shoes, you probably would have taken the same paths, uh, made the same choices and decisions that my wife and I have, uh, and she is very much a part of this process, and uh, well, we, we make a great team. So. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I do promise to make a more concerted effort to get videos out more timely for you. Uh, just modern homesteading, prepping, self-sufficiency, uh, how to, uh, to make yourself uh, a little bit more skilled in, um, well, some skills that we're, we're losing as a society, which is a shame. But that's what I'm planning on doing going forward and you'll want to subscribe to do that. If you like the direction that I'm heading, give the video a thumbs up if you would please. That helps me know that uh, you like what I'm doing. And of course, if you have questions or comments, leave those down in the comments down below. Thanks very much again. I'm Joe Levi. The websites are joelevi.com and thelevihouse.com. Thanks everybody. Catch you next time.